Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. I know this week has been pretty tough for us crypto investors because of this huge dip and probably this is not the end of it yet. Regardless, if you have a helium up and running, then I'm sure you are not panicking because at $10 for HNT, we are still getting some very, very nice rewards. Now, in a previous video, I talked about Hotspot RF as a great tool to calculate how to position your hotspot, what, what kind of antenna you have to use and so forth. If you missed that video, simply click in the top right corner of this video and it will take you to that video. Same thing if you don't know what helium is check out that video and it will give you all the information that you need. So assuming that you know what this tool is then I've got some good news because in that previous video I talked to you guys about a tool to calculate the rewards. Well finally they have integrated this feature so in this video we're going to take a look at how exactly it works and what you can expect. If you like the sound of that be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. So in the previous video I talked about that you get 10 credits for free. Well, good news, you still have this free plan available. Now when it comes to the reward calculation tool, so if you want to know a good estimate of what the rewards will be if you position your hotspot in a certain area, then you'll have to upgrade to the hobbyist or one of the other paid plans. Now there's a little trick that you can do. Uh, I suggest signing up for the free trial first, then you get those 10 simulation credits. And if you then upgrade to the hobbyist plan, then you get the 10 simulation credits of the hobbyist plan on top. So that means you will have 20 simulation credits in the first week. So yeah, I think that's a, a nice little trick if you're planning to upgrade anyway. Now, if you're wondering if it's worth upgrading, yes or no, well, I think if you have only one hotspot or you're just planning to buy one hotspot, the uh, free trial version is definitely enough. 10 simulations, I really don't think you need more to position one hotspot. And you can do an estimation yourself of how many rewards you can get based on the hotspots around you. Now, if you're planning to set up an entire network, then I do think the $10 investment is definitely worth it. Of course, this is a decision that you have to make for yourself. Enough talk, let's dive into the portal. Let's go into the mountains. Putting on the terrain feature, of course, makes it easier to see what kind of terrain we have. There we go, and it seems like we have some mountain hotspots <laughs> right here. Let's zoom into that one. And I don't think I showed you guys this feature, but if you right click, then you can tilt the view and you can actually see the terrain. Ta-da! So if, if you're in a uh, area that has a lot of hills and, and stuff like that, then this feature can definitely be useful to give you an idea where you are positioning your hotspot. Because of course, it's definitely more interesting to put an antenna right here rather than inside the valley, of course. So yeah, this is a pretty neat little feature. Just right click and you can start moving and tilting and that will give you a good idea. Now, if you move to Paris, for example, this feature will not be that helpful because the terrain underneath Paris, of course, is uh, is pretty flat, as you can see. So if you really want to have the effect of buildings, I mean, even here, you can see the little hill. <laughs> it does help you if you can put an antenna here rather than putting them here or here. So if you have a lot of buildings, I do suggest that you use this feature, which is download the KMZ. So first of all, you choose a location. Um, let's see which position can use our help. So we see two orange reward scales. We see two more. So I think if you would put a hotspot up right here, that would help both these hotspots and these hotspots. Um, so let's assume that we are positioning it here. So we left click. Now when it comes to positioning and choosing your location, I like to turn on the hexagon level 7 as well. There you go. So maybe it's even better to position it right here. Yeah, doesn't matter. As long as it's in this hexagon, I do think we will help these two turn green and these two turn green as well because we help balance the network. I am going to turn off the satellite view and put it on dark. It's a bit easier to see everything. Next thing we do is simulate location. And that's another feature that they added. So in the beginning we could only put it on feet. So we have added meters, which is easier for us people in Europe. I have a five DBI gain antenna, no cable loss. And let's just say 
I put it on the roof, so about, I think 12 meters would be better. There you go. And then we click simulate location. As you can see, we would be hitting a lot of different hotspots, which would be good. And as you can see, we also upgraded the reward scale of these two. Sadly, we were not able to help these guys yet. They're still at 0 0.5, but hey, we did help the network upgrade them to green here. And as you can see, everything here that had the 0 0.8 reward scale now has the reward scale of one again, which of course is beneficial for us as well. Now, as you can see, the expected HNT rewards are about five HNT per day or 35 weekly. Now do keep in mind, this is an estimation. I think you could say there's about plus minus 20%. So yeah, let's just say that we will earn between four and six HNT, so five HNT on average. It can also take a while if a lot of people are using the tool, it might take 10 to 15 seconds for these uh, reward estimates to load. So give it some time. Don't hit that refresh button too often because that will overload the server. Now, if you're curious about the terrain, then what you can do is download the KMZ and you can import this KMZ in Google Earth. Just for fun, let's do it one more time. I'll download it. So then we go to Google Earth. We say make a new project. We click open and import from KML file from computer. This will take us all the way to France. There you go. And it will load our file and our frequency map. And then if we zoom in, we will get all the buildings. So I... Ta-da. So this will give you the real terrain. So my 15 or 12 meters is probably a bit low for this region so if you would put it up here i think we would have a very good reach now if you really want to you can actually also use the uh, street view tool there we go to walk around in this area how cool is that now what other features have been added well we have this one here you can cycle through the hotspots that you can reach so that's pretty cool so let's go to this one. So apparently we can reach Dazzling Ginger Goose. They have 10 HNT rewards per day. That's a lot. Then we have this one, Skinny Mint Coyote. Again, give it some time to load. He is not doing that well, it seems. Probably because he positioned it at a very low point and not on the roof. As we've seen on this location, there are a lot of tall buildings and this is normal. We're in the middle of Paris. Let's cycle further let's go to this one that's pretty far so it's uh, 1.4 kilometers and this in a city like paris that's not bad reach at all anyway you get the idea this is a nice tool to cycle through all the hotspots that you'll be reaching and it will also give you a pretty good idea of what rewards are in your area now, another feature I want to talk about is the history feature. So if you take another location, for example, we simulate right here. And you then click on the history button. Then you see all the different simulations that we've done with the reward scale, total hotspots hits and so forth. So especially if you have a very limited amount of credits and you don't want to write everything down, then this is a very easy tool to use. It's also nice to see that you can download the different KMZ files. So if you download all these files, then you can afterwards look at all the different locations in Google Earth and really see what the terrain and the buildings are like on that location. So with all these little tools and all these little integrations, you can do a really nice in-depth analysis all with one tool. Then the last new feature that has been added is the equipment guide. I think that's pretty cool as well. So we still have the settings guide and then we have the equipment guide which was added recently. So if you click it, you have another blog post with some more information about helium. And then they have some uh, setups on how they positioned their hotspots and the materials that they used. So this is pretty cool and you can see how you can do it yourself. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Now what else have we coming up in the future? Well, basically they're working on an API solution that should be done uh, by the end of the month. So this is more towards bigger companies that want to 
build really big networks. I think for you and me, the API is not that useful. Um, and then after that, and that would be very useful because that's something that you guys have been asking for a lot, is a tool to set up multiple hotspots, meaning this way you can, for example, I'm planning to buy five new hotspots, then you can already put five different hotspots on the map, and then you can do a reward simulation for that new network that you want to build. So that would be really cool if they are able to finish that next month. If they do, I will definitely be making a new video and show you guys how it works. All right, if you are planning to use the Hotspot RF tool, be sure to use the link in the description of my video. Also, if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to post a comment because that will help me push this video in the YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you have a question, don't hesitate to ask. I do try to reply on all the questions that you guys have within 48 hours. So, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, post a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.